Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I'm Sam Kitty 4 and welcome to Judge Sim, a game where you are a judge in a banana republic and, well, you need to solve cases. So, let's get in and we'll show it off, shall we? Okay, let's put our name in. Okay, you uh, were appointed as a judge. Banana Republic Courthouse. There we are, just getting ready. Week one, case one. Okay, so we've got ourselves a little letter. First of all, we wish you success in your new position. We wanted to remind you of the details that are important for you to make a correct judgment. Find evidence in the evidence file. At the same time, you get information whether there is digital evidence on the tablet. The case file includes the contents of the case and information on defendants. Ask some questions, check any digital stuff if need be, law book so we know what punishments we're giving out, and then make our decision. Sounds simple enough. Remember though, your decisions will have consequences. Making wrong decisions in law book cases will cause your bars to increase. How full your bars are affects the probability of getting a 12 on the dice screen after each case. Therefore, remember that the game can end even if your bars are not completely full. Yeah, I don't get the bit about the dice, but it's there. And yeah, we've got two bars. We've got the assassination bar and we've got the arrest bar. So our decisions can put one or the other or both higher. Okay, so we've got our defendant here. So let's check out James Adley, 26, male. Okay, violation of restrictions. James Adley, who was seen by the patrolling officer at 2 a.m. after the specified restriction time of 2200, was taken into custody on the grounds that he did not allow the criminal procedure to be applied. It was around 1.50 a.m. and I wasn't feeling well at that moment. I forgot that there were restrictions and I was just wandering around. I saw the police while they were on patrol and remembered that there were restrictions. Then I insisted on not being punished. Okay, so he just basically admitted that, yeah, he was out in violation. Fine. Let's just see. No, no evidence. That's fine. And check the law book. Right, so, so there we go. Violation of restrictions, six months public service, and a thousand fine. Simple. Okay, so let's have a quick chat with him. Why didn't you allow the police to write a fine? Because I thought I was right and they didn't give me a chance to explain. I didn't want it to come to this. In your statement, you said you didn't feel well during the night. Why didn't you call an ambulance? As I said, the first thing that came to my mind at that moment was to go out. And while I was doing it, I didn't think the details. Yeah, not good enough. So, judgment call. James Adley, I find you guilty. So, you can do six months public service. And, yes, a thousand dollar fine. There we go. Nice and simple, easy enough. And now we get a roll of dice to see if we can keep being a judge or not. Or, there we go, very, very nice. Or we get arrested. 
Then we go home. We've got our lovely family. Can't interact with them much, but hey, that's fine. Right, we can go out, but we've got no money. We'll get to that in a bit. So let's just get to the next case. Bill Pass, convicts with a criminal record will now be given increased penalties. So yeah, you need to now make sure that you're checking whether they've got a criminal past or not. Okay, case two. Hello, who are you? Right, Axel Brendan. He has got a criminal record. Okay, possession or carrying of drugs. A small amount of drugs were found on the person who was subject to an identity check by police in the evening as a result of the search of his body. As a result of the identity scan, it was seen that the person had been tried and acquitted twice before on charge of possessing carrying drugs. As a result of the subsequent investigation, no evidence was found that the person was involved in drug dealing. I admit that I carry the substance, but I only use it in my own environment and when I'm alone to calm my mind. I have not harmed anyone and never will. I will not use this substance from now on. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. You are... Okay, five milligrams of cocaine. Lovely. Right, let's see what he's got to say for example. Were you gonna sell the stuff before you got caught? No, I was on my way home and suddenly I saw the police. I wanted to change direction, but I was always already on their radar. Where did you get it from? I get it through a friend. I don't know whom he gets it. Is the person you call my friend your close friend? No, someone I met at a bar a month ago. I don't know him personally. Okay, well, he was caught with it, so, okay, drugs, 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 where are we, narcotics, okay, right, it should be 10 months, but because he's already got a criminal record, it's 18 months public service and 5,000, fine, okay, so, decisions, you are guilty, Five thousand fine and eighteen months public service. Okay. Right, how did we do? Good. We're not getting shot. And we're not getting arrested. Okay. Okay, case number three. Oh, we've got a letter. Okay. A lot of evidence is lost as a result of arcanist attacks on our state in order to secure the security of evidence in the case we would deliver the evidence to you in a device we call cryptix we designed the password on this device so that only you can solve them and remember if you try to open it three times before the green light this the cryptics will destroy the evidence okay so let's see what we've got then Jason, no criminal record, okay. Oh, assassination? All right. During the night, Freddy, the CEO, was found dead in the trunk of his car during a routine patrol by the car park security. It's been determined that the CCTV covering the area where the incident took place was not working. That's not good. Security guard Jason, who was the only employee in the company at the time of the incident, became a suspect and was taken into custody by police. Right. On the evening of the incident, only three hours had passed since I started work. On the evening of the incident, only three hours had passed since I started work. While I was doing my routinely hour patrol, I saw his vehicle but the open trunk of the vehicle caught my attention when I approached I saw his lifeless body in the trunk what caught my attention about the body was it had a red rose on it afterwards I notified the police 
Okay, so he's saying he found the body and now he's a suspect. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, there we go, got it. Okay, open you up. Let's have a look. Okay, the rope found next to the vehicle and was used to kill Freddy. A red rose was found on his body. Okay. I mean, there's nothing really to say. I mean, all right, let's see what he's got to save himself first. How do you think the killer entered the car park undetected without an ID card? You can't find any answer to that, Your Honor. The doors have never been used in the system since I started my shift. Do you have a problem with the CEO? Did you know him well? It's a real big company, I know them by name. I started three months ago. I only interviewed with the recruitment department and had no problems with him. I mean... Okay, okay. This is a tough one, actually, because... Can you really send him down? I mean... He was on security. He says he found the body. But... But, but, but... Yeah, there was a... Um, what's it called? None of the doors were used. Okay. Let's see what it is for assassination then. Okay, no. Oh, there we go. Wow! Okay! 62 years for an assassination attempt. Okay. So, I've got to be sure that is definitely the right choice. Oh... And there's nothing on here, is that? No, that's just what we've been talking about. There's no evidence there. And... I mean, you could do some shopping, but I've got no money, so... Fine. And check me emails. No, no emails. Okay, okay. I mean, it's all pretty circumstantial, if I'm being honest. Oh, do you have anything to say? Request a special guard or offer a bribe. Well, I've got no money, so I can't bribe him. I don't know what I'd want to bribe him for, but fine. All right, you know what? Um, I'm going to say not guilty. Uh, I don't know. I can't say. There's not enough evidence to say it was him. So. Oh. Why is there an X there? Oh, don't tell me that's telling me it's the wrong decision. I don't care. That's my decision. I'm sticking with it. Okay. Let's see how we do. Thank you. And. Thank you. Good, 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 good. Right. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's payday. So, 600. Th oh, wow. I wish my rent was only three. Oh, I mean, that's 300 a week. Hell, yeah, I still wish my rent was only 300 a week. Um, no, I don't. No, 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 forget that, no. 120, 80, you know what? Ooh, credit options. 
Ooh, I could take out a loan, can't I? No, not now, not yet. Right. Let's just withdraw our money. That's a hundred. Yeah. Okay. And oh. Okay. What do you want? Your daughter's asked for a hundred for school fees. Do you accept? I've just been paid. Fine. It's for school. Go on. There you go. Keep you bloody happy. Right. Well, I was hoping to go out, but I guess not. Let's go to week two. Okay, we've got uh, two of them this time. Okay. Right. Bob and Connell. Okay. Auto theft. The vehicle was stolen while parked in a parking lot opposite the neighbourhood where Liam lives. Following a denunciation on the morning of the night the vehicle was thought to have been stolen, the licence plate was traced. The vehicle was turned over the same morning and as a result of the searches, a package containing cigar scissors was found in the vehicle. Apart from this, no additional findings were found. As a result of the identity check, the person inside the vehicle was determined to be Bob Isaac Groove, a.k.a. Big, known as a former car thief. Okay, stolen car seems pretty straightforward. The car was stolen, he was found in it. Okay. Okay. We went to our summer house in Counting Village with my car for two days as a family over the weekend. At the end of the second day, I think I forgot to lock my car because I was tired from the road. There is a possibility that the person who stole it also took advantage of this. On the morning of the day the car was thought to have been stolen, a longtime friend of mine called me and said he had urgent business. He asked me to take his package to a place called Party Time. I thought it was urgent, so I went quickly to his house. He gave me a car key and a piece of paper with the address of the place where I was to take the package. So I drove off with the car. Soon I got pulled over and found out the car was stolen. Upon this statement, Connell was found at his home and brought to the station for questioning. I do not accept any of the accusations against me. I don't know anything. Okay, well, you've got a criminal record. You don't. Okay, fine. Let's check the evidence. So, ooh, okay. Let's being used around. There we go. That was pretty easy, actually. Okay. So, the cigar scissors and a box found with fingerprints on it. All right. So, 212314. 212, Oh, okay. So, if you had nothing to do with it, why were your fingerprints found on the cigar cutter in the car? Okay. Okay. Let's see what they got to say. Where were you when it, the car was stolen? That night I was sitting at a place called Pepsi's with my girlfriend. Before it was too late at night, I dropped off at her house and went to my home. I fell asleep shortly after. In the morning, I woke up to Connell's call. <laughs> when was your last conversation with him? <laughs> it's been around six months since we last spoke, and I was very surprised that he called after all this time. <laughs> also, it's been a long time since I left these jobs. I'm now a regular life and regular relationship. I am not guilty. <laughs> okay, Mr. Gr Glenn. When did you meet with Bob? I've known Bob for over 20 years. He's a dear friend. 
He says you gave him a stolen vehicle, delivered a package, and asked him to take it wherever he wanted. Is this true? <laughs> to do with me the last time I met Bob was six months ago. He slandered me. Okay. Well, we know you're lying. We know you're lying because, yes, your fingerprints were found in the car. So, just check we got the right crime. So, go back. Is it grand theft? No, auto theft. Not grand theft auto, just auto theft. Okay, so. Okay, auto theft. Right, it's two years in jail. Fine. And that's only because you don't have a criminal record. But you will after this. Okay. So, I am ready. So, Bob. You are not guilty. Okay, that X has gone up again. And I don't know what that's for. Unless it's just... I don't know. You know what? I'm saying you're fine. Okay. And um, Mr. Glenn here. Nope. You are going away for two years. Okay, we're not getting shot. And we're not being arrested. Good, 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 good. Okay. All right, let's quickly move on to the next one. Oh. State of emergency. Due to the recent increase in the activity, the government has declared a state of emergency. Okay. State of emergency. Due to the state of emergency, judges can now be appointed to all types of cases. Okay. Week two. Case two. Oh. Okay. I, I don't like the look of this. Okay. Okay. Let's have a look. Situation of who will take the custody of 12-year-old Ezekiel and his sister, Clara. Okay. Ben and Diaz recently divorced. A custody case was filed. The mother of the children for the custody of the children. As a result of divorce, the mother has a certain amount of alimony that she demands from the father. Okay. Well, I don't know who we're going to be questioning, but let's question then. There's not much really. Okay, to Ezekiel. And you said your parents are divorced. No, I'm not, because my parents didn't get along very well, and they argued all the time. My sister and I were very uncomfortable, and I couldn't stand the crying of my sister anymore. <laughs> So do you want to live with your mum or your dad? What's important to me is my sister. I certainly don't want to leave her, but the best thing for her would be to live with my mother. Who would you prefer? My mother is more important to me. I think being with my mother will be better for me and my, and my mother, of course, with my sister. Okay, are you sad? Oh, this is now to Clara. Yes, I'm very, very much. Even though they fight, I love them both very much. And I can't live without even one of them. Do you love your mom more or your dad? I love them both very much. I never wanted my parents to get divorced. That's why I feel sad. If you had to choose, who would you choose? Your mum or your dad? I don't want to choose one or the other. My only wish right now is that my brother doesn't leave me. He always supports me. Please don't separate my brother and me. Right. Okay. Uh, the parent's not going to say anything. Okay. Nothing else seems to be highlighted and no there's no arrows to say there's anything more nothing in there and no okay i guess i'm making a choice right give custody of both children to the mother both to the father 
Give the son to the father, the daughter to the mother, the daughter to the father, the son to the mother, placing children in orphanage due to lack of conditions. To be honest, I don't really know. But we're keeping the kids together, that's fine. But do we... Okay, she's not bothered who she's with. He wants to be with his mum, so we'll give it to the mother then. Okay. That was a weird one, that was. But okay, fine. All right, let's see what we've got tomorrow. Oh, okay, we're back to criminal. Okay, hello, who are you? James, assassination. Okay. In the morning, a person named Amanda, who was jogging in a forested area near the highway, came across a lifeless body of a person named Francis. It's been determined that the CCTV in the area was not working. Does CCTV not work at all in this country? Jeez, okay. According to the autopsy report, it was understood that he died as a result of prolonged asphyxiation without any signs of impact on his body. Okay. So he suffocated, but there were no marks. Okay. According to the allegations, the last person to see him was James Redlow, a member of the board of directors of Karen and Wells. Okay. That night we left the company together. We went to the bar with his vehicle. After staying there for about an hour, he dropped me off at home. I don't know what he did after that or where he went. Francis and I were good friends. While sitting at the bar, I saw him troubled. But no matter how much I insisted, he did not say anything. He just said that there was, there was something wrong in his life these days. And no matter what he did, he couldn't change things. That's all I can say. I'm so sorry for the loss of a close friend. Okay. That morning, like every day, I headed to the area in the forest that I always prefer to run. While taking a break to drink water, I saw a body lying flat behind the bushes. I immediately informed the police. All I remember is the person laying on the ground was wearing a suit and had a red rose on him. Okay, so... Whoever killed this person also killed... The other one. Okay. And you do have a criminal record. Okay. Oh, flipping it. What's this one? Right. So you two. You, I'm guessing. You two. That you. You. To you. You go to the top. No, no. Take that one back. Take it back. All right, can you undo? Oh, I have to start again. Okay, give me a second. There we go. Got it that time. Right. Okay, so... Okay, wait a minute. It's saying that it was a rope and a rose what's the exact same things as killed the other one but in a minute the evidence said where was it now yeah he died as a result of prolonged asphyxiation without any signs of impact on his body So, that doesn't go with the rope. If he died of asphyxiation, why was the, without any signs of impact on his body, then why was the rope there? It doesn't make sense. But, okay. How long was your friendship? We've been working in the same company for about four years, but we've had a close friendship for the last two. Was there anyone in the company who did not like him or had threatened him recently? Not as far as I know, there was no such person. In fact, he was the CEO of our company 
and was well liked by every member of our board. <laughs> Did you go to the bar often? <laughs> you used to go at least twice a week to vent. Okay. Again, I just... There's nothing saying it's him. Again, he might have been the last one. He said he went home. We don't know. He could have, you know, killed him and... No, I... There's nothing putting him there. Plus, if it was him, then that means he also killed the other one in the security. So... Okay. No, I don't think he did it. Okay. Yeah, not guilty. Oh, oh great, what have we got? Oh, as a result of the de decisions you've made, we've raised your salary. Nice. Okay, well let's see if we get assassinated first. Nope, good. And good, okay. That's fine. Okay, so place bets now. Who's gonna want me money? Let's see, who's gonna want money this time? Oh. Okay. I've got lots of tweets. Case ended well, cleared our conscience. The decision pleases all, thank you. Okay, nice. And okay, nobody, nobody wants any money off me? Okay, oh, oh, I can pet the cat. Oh. All right, well, you know what? After that, I'm going out and you know what? Let's go and grab a drink. I don't really need it, but let's just have a beer. Okay. Okay. Oh, alcoholic judge. Okay. Oh, one's fine, but if you have more, it's going to go down, is it? Okay. Well, you know what? I've had a drink. It was nice. Let's end the week. Let's see what you've got in store for us this time. Okay. Okay. Eldon and Arthur. Okay. Threat, malicious wounding. The incident occurred in the evening at the home of Eldon Duncan. The person named Arthur who caused the injury fled immediately after the incident. An arrest warrant has been issued as a result the report from Eldon. In the search initiated by the police as a result of the tip-off it was determined that Arthur was hiding in his sister's house and was captured by police in the evening and brought to the police station for questioning. Right, so a month ago I borrowed money from Arthur. He kept calling me and telling me that my debt was doubled and increasing day by day. I told him many times I had not yet received payment from my work and that I would pay my debt when I received it. Despite this, he never stopped calling, he harassed me, and after a while, he started following me home. Although I reported this to the police many times, I did not receive a positive response. As I finally left my work and arrived home, I saw Arthur behind me. I noticed he was holding a knife in his hand. He pointed the knife at me and asked me to be quiet and go to my apartment with him. I couldn't react because I was afraid. Then we went to my apartment. After entering the house, he started rummaging through my house looking for money. When he couldn't find any, he stabbed me in the leg. Then he quickly fled the apartment. Then I took my cell phone and asked for help from the police. Okay, that's your story. 
About a month ago, Eldon called me, told me that he needed some money. Although I was in a difficult situation myself, I gave him the money he asked for and explained the situation to him. He said he would pay me the money as soon as possible. Since he did not respond after a month, I couldn't stand it and called him. Told him that he had to pay his debt. He told me that he would pay the debt if I came to his house on a set date and time. When I went to his house, he told me that the money was in his apartment and that we should go up to the apartment. When we got home, when we got home, I, mean, I, think, that, I think that's meant to say when we got to his home, he asked me to sit down and said he would come back soon. Then he stood in front of me with a knife and started making threats. I told him that he had to pay his debt no matter what. Then he swung the knife. At that moment, I made a move to defend myself and the knife was stuck in his leg. Afterwards, I took the knife and ran to my sister's house because I was afraid. Why would you take the knife? If he had the knife and stabbed himself in the leg with it, why would you pull the, the knife out of his leg and take it with you? That doesn't add up. Okay, and well, let's see what the evidence says. Oh, flipping neck, right. Oh, jeez. Okay, it's one of these, is it? Right, give me a minute. There we go. Got it eventually. Okay. Right. Fingerprints 21272. Telephone conversation. When are you going to give me my money back? Give me more time. I'll return as soon as possible. I've waited long enough. I can't wait any longer. If you don't pay by tomorrow, at the latest, I'm not responsible for what happens. Calm down, I'm saying I pay. If you don't pay, I'll kill you. Okay, so he's threatened to kill him. And I'm going to say right off the bat, I bet you they're his fingerprints. So, 21272. 21282 and 21272. So, yeah. I'm going to say that, yeah, Arthur went after him and stabbed him. I don't even think I really need to question him, but let's be thorough. How do you know Arthur? Last year, he was someone I met through social media, and we met and became friends. In which hand was Arthur holding the knife when he stabbed you? He was holding the knife in his left hand, and when he stabbed me with his left hand, I'm sure of it. How many times a week did Arthur call you? He was calling every day of the week. Did you call and harass Elon between the day you lent him money and the day of the incident? No. With which hand did Elon point the knife at you? I remember he pointed the knife at me with his right hand. Okay, yeah, we know you're lying. Okay, so let's just double check because it was threats and. Excuse me. There we go, that's it. Yeah, threat and malicious wounding. Okay, malicious wounding is eight years. Okay. Threat is two years. Okay, and... Okay, it must be given the sum of their sentences for the crimes listed. So, okay, yeah, add them together. Do you have a criminal record? No, you 
don't. So yeah, you're taking the lesser of the two. Okay, it looks like you're getting 10 years. So, Eldon, good news. I find you not guilty. However, Arthur. Oh yeah, guilty. And as I said, 10 years. Okay, hopefully we did good. Okay, yeah, we're still fine. Good, good, good. Okay. Oh, okay. I can't do any shopping at the moment. Fine. Let's just end the day then. Ooh. Bill Pass, criminals who are not mentally well will be sent for treatment instead of punishment. Okay, so got to determine if they're mentally capable now. All right, before we do, I just want to do a little bit of shopping. So, let's get a nice in. Oh, no, I don't. I don't have enough for anything. Fine. Okay. We'll get something for the cat. There we go. Right. Okay. Let's get back to judging. Okay. Mental health test came back positive. No criminal record. Okay. Willful damage to public property. The incident was discovered by citizens using the benches belonging to Trent Tower Municipal. And an investigation was launched. CCTV footage was examined in detail and the person involved was identified. Okay, so he was caught on CCTV then. As a solution, a new bench was placed in front of the town hall and they started to wait. He sat down on a bench at noon and took a sharp object out of his pocket. He was detained by the police officer at the same time. First of all, I didn't know it was a crime to do this. The reason I did it is that I unintentionally picked up a bad habit and it turned into an addiction. I can't control it anymore. But as I said, I didn't know it was a crime. Well... I'm sorry, but not knowing it was a crime is not a good enough excuse. I'm sorry. Right, well, this seems pretty simple, really, but let's just check everything first. Okay, let's move one of these. That's fine. There we go. Okay, what have we got? Oh, yeah. Okay, they were found on you. That's the damage you've done. Okay, fine. Let's see what you've got to say. Let's assume you didn't know that what you did was a crime. Did you also not know that it is the citizens who use the benches and seats? Of course I do, Your, your Honour, but I wasn't thinking about that part when I did it. Do you regret doing it? I absolutely regret it and promise to do my best for public peace from now on. Okay. Right. How are we doing, actually? Yeah. All right. I'm doing pretty good. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. Again. I just want to make sure... Willful damage okay so let's have a look you guilty so would it be under yeah willful damage 12 months public service or 24 months and a three gram fine okay it's gonna be no it'll be the lesser that's fine so Guilty and 12 months. Done. Okay. Yep, yeah, still good. There we go, lovely. Right. 
And there we go. We've got our cat toy. Okay, well, the cat's not using it, but I mean, that's typical for cats. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I think you get the point. This is Judge Sim, and well, it's exactly what it is. It's not really my cup of tea, but it's interesting. It's not bad. It's just not something that, yeah, I would normally get for myself. But you know what? There are people out there that this game will attract and you'll love it. And then there'll be other people like me that it just doesn't click. So, if you are one of those who like this sort of game, link in the description down below. But in the meantime, I've been Sam Katie 4. This has been Judge Sim. Thank you so much for joining me. Look after each other. And until next time. Goodbye.